Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Uma. Good to have you back in class. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good evening, teacher. Miss Susana. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. See what happens this <laughs> module, right? A ver qué pasa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see. And then we have new participants joining the house. Mr. Edwin, Daniel, and Miss Carmen Lisette. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Good to have you on board. All right. Good evening, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Vamos a ver si el calor no nos da carrera. <laughs> o la lluvia. ¿Verdad? Así mejor que no llueva, ¿verdad? Así medio alborota el calor, ¿verdad? Esta lluvia. Sí. Se pone peor. Sí, pone, se pone peor. Ok. Uh, let me ask you, is everyone in the chat already in WhatsApp? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Mr. Cesar, sir. Good to see Good you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. So how, let me ask you, ¿verdad? Pregunta así personal. How is your back now? ¿Cómo está su espalda? O de lo que le pasó la vez pasada. You're better now? Bastante mejor, bastante está mejor. mejor. Ahí, poco con un... Teniendo un poquito más de reposo, ahí vamos poco a poco. ¿Ya está menos medicado o, o sí necesita? Sí, sí, básicamente fueron solo los primeros días, de ahí ya por, por salud general mejor ya no me seguí medicando, porque eran más calmantes y cosas uh -huh. así. Uh -huh. Qué uh -huh. bueno, la verdad. Así que, pero sí, gracias, sí, ya mejor. Otherwise, we have here Miss Susana, ¿verdad? No va a dar una, una professional opinion. <laughs> what happened, sister? What happened to you, sister? She's asking. Le pregunta qué le pasó. Estuve ahí un percance ahí con una cuestión de una caída, básicamente. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que él tiene ya una, una condición, ¿verdad? Entonces eso una lesión. Vino, una lesión, mm -hmm. correcto. Y eso vino a grabarle. Pero ya. Hay que cuidarse más. Sí, ya bastante, sí. ya dos, más de dos semanas, entonces ya mejor. Uh -huh. we, we have a long period, right, of vacation. Yes. <laughs> y así, ¿verdad? No, no. <laughs> no, con ánimo, con ánimo. Sí, la verdad que ya, ya hace falta desviar la atención, ¿verdad? De otras cosas. Sí, sí. ¿Verdad? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Eh... We have another uh, tocaya, Miss Susana Margarita. We have Miss hey, Susana Hernandez over there. Hi, right. good evening. <laughs> hey, nice to yes. meet you. Nice to nice. meet you. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> and we have Mr. Luis Leipa in the house. Okay, we have Miss Luis Leipa in the house. Nice. Uh, okay, so let's begin. Okay, so let's start with dates. Le voy a comenzar a, a, a dar las fechas like a reminder of the dates when this is supposed to finish. All right, so just one second. Hold on. Bye. If my connection is stable, I'm supposed to be sharing the screen with you, the one that says Inglés para el Trabajo, in Safor, okay? The company I work for is Inglés Corporativo, and um, I can't complain, right? So no me quejo, la verdad, y no es por quedar bien en cámara, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. Um, 
a couple of dates that we need to, to, to save. The module beginner three starts today, Tuesday, April 13. And the, uh, the fan, Verde la Diversión, termina, the fan finishes on, on Tuesday, May 11th. We will have a day off on May the 10th, Mother's Day, all right? El 10 de mayo, no classes. So Mother's Day, no classes. So that's why the last date of this module is uh, Tuesday, May 11. Okay? So in four weeks, this is going to be history. All right. So English Corporativo, English Principiante, Modulo 3, or Beginning Module 3, welcomes you aboard. There's a lot of things to learn in this module. Hopefully you're going to enjoy the time uh, with all your classmates and with me, of course, ¿verdad? Especialmente, esperemos disfrutar, ¿verdad? Las clases. So, as a friendly reminder, we have three criteria in order to approve this module, ¿verdad? Para pasar o para pasar raspados, como decíamos en el colegio o en la escuela, we need the 80%, okay, of attendance. Y aquí voy a ocupar una frase bien trillada. Truena, llueve o relampague. Casualidad esta noche, ¿verdad? Okay. So we, we need to be here. We need to be here. All right. So we have to be here. Al menos que tenga algo de fuerza mayor. ¿Verdad? Usted lo reporta conmigo. Aunque uno quisiera, ¿verdad? Ponerles ahí el chiquecito de verdecito de asistencia, pero soy solamente un simple mortal <ríe> en el sentido de que solamente reporto. ¿Ok? Y eh, Insafor, al final ellos verifican el 80% y, y son bien cuadrados. ¿Ok? Cuadradísimos. Ustedes ya saben eso. Performance in the platform. You need to have at least 80%, but this is like we, we say sometimes is the easiest part. Because you do it in your time, at your own pace. Uh, you may get help from somebody else, ¿verdad? Podemos obtener ayuda. We consult online, ¿verdad? Me preguntan a mí. Or you just do it at your own pace. Lo que a nosotros nos dicen como facilitadores es, eh, insista, motive a los participantes para que si ellos tienen... Eh, tiempo de hacerlo las actividades diariamente que lo hagan ok, if you do this uh, every single day, but if you do let's say the platform exercises weekly, pero si lo hacemos semanal, también está, está, está muy bien, ok lo que yo les pido encarecidamente Mr. Francisco, good to see you sir, I have Miss Sarai, alright I'm going to say Miss Dolores <laughs> for the all good times, ¿verdad? Por los viejos tiempos. <laughs> ya hace tres meses, ¿verdad? <laughs> Dos meses. Okay, and I have Miss Sonia right there. Eh, lo que yo les pido es que el viernes, eh, en el resto del día, que compartan o me escriban. Mire, ya completé la plataforma. Voy a revisar y yo les corroboro si está completo. Thank you so much, les voy a decir. O mandan captura de pantalla al chat que tenemos de la clase. ¿verdad? Entonces, como la dinámica que vamos a tener en esta clase, y creo que con otros profesores lo han tenido. All right? But that's optional, ¿verdad? Es opcional que usted mande el progreso a mi persona o lo comparta en el chat general. ¿Ok? Lo importante es que trabaje y que aprenda. So that's the, the most important thing. And last but not least, eh, vamos a ver, tenemos a Carmen Lisset. All right? You have a question. So, yeah, what's, yes, what's the question? Sir, I'm sorry. What's your name? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. My name is Jose Francisco Alfaro. Thank you. Yes. yes. Sorry, I forgot because I have some uh, all good friends in the house. So, <laughs> Miss Flor, good to see you. Todavía estamos en pie de lucha, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea. <laughs> okay, so, um, and the last day of class, as you know, it's the uh, satisfaction uh, survey or poll, which we have to complete in class. 
lo de la encuesta, ustedes ya saben, lo dejamos para el último día, para evitarnos malos entendidos, eh, o para que, no le estén, para que ya no le estén llamando, ¿verdad? Después que se acabe eso el 11 de mayo. ¿Ok? Es, es la recomendación que yo lo doy. As you know, in class we have a one-on-one -on -one session scheduled every single day. That class officially lasts two hours. La clase oficialmente dura dos horas. But right after everybody says goodbye, see you tomorrow at 10 p.m., I'm going to be asking this week, meaning today, uh, Mr. Alfonso Antonio, Mr. Cesar tomorrow, Miss Claudia is on Thursday, and Miss Daisy Celaya is going to be on Friday. Okay? Last year, the one on ones were on Wednesday only. But uh, last module, you realize that there is one person assigned after the class is over. So today uh, we start with, arrancamos con Mr. Alfonso, okay? But I, I'll remind you about this every day, okay? Or every night. Yo le voy a recordar de esto, all right? There we go. And uh, something that I really like to do in this class is an activity which I call the word of the day. En la clase, después de dar un repaso, después de saludarnos o, o, o darle alguna información o que usted pregunte o me hace una consulta de la plataforma, comenzamos con la primera actividad. Esto, esto lo menciono solamente para un, un breve recordatorio y los que somos nuevos en este módulo o trabajando conmigo. Eh, comenzamos con este vocabulario, esta práctica de vocabulario. The word of the day. La palabra del día o the phrase of the day o la frase del día. And what I'm giving you is real English phrases, ¿verdad? Frases reales del inglés. Okay? For example, this one is be on the ball. I'm going to do my best. Yo voy a hacer todo lo posible de traerles cada clase una frase nueva o, o una palabra nueva. Okay? And my suggestion to you is to write this down. Mi, mi sugerencia es que usted escriba, que tenga, no sé, un cuaderno de apuntes y le escriba, write the date over there, escribe la fecha, escribe la frase, the meaning, y si es posible un ejemplo, or you get screenshots of everything, or, or, le, or le toma captura de pantalla, ¿ok? The, the, what matters over here is that you keep track of the vocabulary, and so, do, so you don't forget, ¿ok? Lo importante es que usted mantenga, ¿verdad?, evidencia de esto para que no se le olvide or at least you can practice it. O por lo menos si alguien ocupa esta palabra o esta frase, usted la escucha en la televisión, ya va a saber de lo que estamos hablando. Ok, de eso se trata. No, no, no necesariamente usted lo va a memorizar o le voy a hacer un examen o, o lo voy a presionar para que se lo memorice. No, at least this is just to practice. So let's start with this. All right, so let's start with this. So be on the ball. Remember, like we said in Spanish, dichos. Okay, they have a literal meaning and a figurative meaning. Okay, tienen un sentido figurado y un sentido literal. If it's a, if it's a literal meaning, be on the ball means estar en la, en, en la pelota. But that doesn't make any sense, right? Si usted lo traduce literalmente, it makes no sense at all. So that's why we need to interpret this. Like this, we have the meaning and we have the example right there. So the meaning of be on the wall, to be quick to understand and to react to things. As an example, my brother is always on the ball, so it's hard to trick him and catch him on a words. Who can tell me in Spanish a, um, a close translation or interpretation to the phrase to be on the ball. Si alguien se anima de forma voluntaria y me dice, hey, yo pienso que eh, be on the, on the ball significa en español lo siguiente. Mr. Nelson, hello, sir. Miss Claudia, good to see you. Right, and I also have Catherine and uh, Miss Sonia Mabel. Welcome, welcome, All right? Thank you. All right, and Mr. Raul, it's just, you know, uh, Waiting, you know, to, to make a big entrance. Mr. Eduardo, hello, sir. Um, yes, 
uh, Ms. Carmen, go ahead. Thank you. I think the meaning of the be on the ball is maybe like uh, that you are understand the topic or you are on the loop of the situation. Correct. Yeah, that you're following, right? The idea. Yes, correct. That's why we have the meaning uh, over here to be quick to understand and react to things. Example, I didn't sleep well last night and I'm not really on the ball today. Okay. But Miss Carmen, let me ask you now that you volunteer to speak. What would be a translation in Spanish of a phrase? In Spanish, you're like you're playing. Exactly, you're playing. All right? You're playing. Correct. You got it. Thank you so much. So are you on the ball today, everyone? All right? We should, right? We should. We should. Deberíamos. Okay? Or at least we should try. Deberíamos tratar to be on the ball today, okay? So that's a phrase that, that I have ready for you. Uh, if you are taking notes, I may give you uh, extra time for you to take notes. Otherwise, let's move on to the next sli slide, okay? So let's continue. So now let's talk about your future, okay? Remember last year due to COVID-19, we did not really think about our future, right? Debido al, uh, al COVID-19, ¿verdad? Pus pusimos como en espera. So we, we placed on hold our future plans. And that is frustrating, ¿verdad? Y eso es frustrante, and that happens a lot. Because sometimes you were looking for a promotion at your workplace. Estuvimos buscando por, no sé, para ser promovidos en el trabajo. Or maybe you were planning to move to another place, ¿verdad? O quizás usted pensó irse del trabajo, apply for something better, ¿verdad? Entonces... Due to COVID-19, all our goals, nuestras metas, were frustrated, ¿verdad? Fueron frustradas, somehow, de una forma, okay? And, and this is the introduction that I'm giving you for the next conversation, ¿verdad? Esta es la introducción para entender la cuestión gramatical de esta noche, all right? Planning your future. So, listen and practice. And then... I'll be asking you some questions about this conversation, all right? First of all, this needs to be a listening exercise. Este tiene que ser un ejercicio netamente eh, auditivo. Entonces, si usted hay alguna palabra que se le escapa, eh, don't worry about it, all right? Because there's going to be the time for me to clarify any doubt that you may have, all right? Va a haber tiempo para que yo le... le Puedo orientar en un cuestión de vocabulario, permítame. Okay, so I'm going to play the listening and uh, just follow along. All right? Listen, please. And just try to read what Alex and Susa are talking about. Remember, it's graduation day, ¿verdad? El día de la graduación. Sometimes that is a very, very happy day in our lives, ¿verdad? La graduación es algo memorable. It's something memorable, right? Unforgettable, inolvidable. Here we go. Page 108. Exercise 6. Conversation. Planning your future. Part A. Listen and practice. So what are you going to do after graduation, Susan? Well, I've saved some money, and I think I'd really like to travel. Lucky you. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Then I plan to get a job and my own apartment. Oh, you're not going to live at home? No, I don't want to live with my parents. Not after I start to work. I know what you mean. What about you, Alex? Any plans yet? I'm going to get a job and live at home. I'm broke and I want to pay off my student loan. Okay, so now I'm going to identify some key vocabulary for you, everyone. And here we go. So I will be providing you with some synonyms at the same time, okay? Or some alternatives or options that you can use instead of certain words over there, All right? So just one second, I'm gonna make this. Okay, 
So very quickly, I'm going to take the role of Alex and Susan just to clarify pronunciation um, of specific words. And then uh, I'll be choosing two volunteers that can help me practice uh, the roles of Alex and Susan. Primero yo eh, modelo la cuestión de pronunciación y luego pido dos voluntarios, por favor, que nos ayuden a, a, a modelar Alex and Susan conversation. Or, okay, so that's the logic that we're going to follow right now. So what are you going to do after graduation, Susan? So you have two options over here. Podemos decir, you can say, what are you going to do? O puede decir, what are you going to do? All right? Both options are correct. What well, one is formal and the other one is informal. La forma formal es, ¿verdad? o la variante formal es, what are you going to do? Just as it's written down, así como está escrito. Or you can say, what are you gonna do? Right? Gonna. G-O-N-N-A, gonna. Esa es la forma informal o la variante informal de esta estructura. Ok. Susan replies, this is Susan. Well, I've saved some money and I think I'd really like to travel. Ok. Si usted tiene esa estructura, I've saved significa he ahorrado. All right, I've, yo he ahorrado. Tiene usted ahí contractado. You have contractive over there. Have, all right, have. Va a disculpar mi letra de primer grado. Over here, ¿verdad? En estas cuestiones. <laughs> all right, so, uh, and then Alex replies, lucky you, that sounds exciting. Yeah, then I plan to get a job in my own apartment. On. Esa palabra significa propio, mío, ¿verdad? No de ninguna otra persona, ¿verdad? Y la W is mute. La W es, es muda. Suena como la palabra. It sounds exactly as the word on. Como de apagado o encendido, ¿verdad? On. It's the same pronunciation, ¿verdad? But you may not this already. Alex replies, dice Alex, oh, you're not going to live at home. You're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna live at home, ¿verdad? You can say that too. Same structure as, as in this example. And then Susan, Susan says, no, I don't want to live with my parents. Not after I start to work. Alex says, I know what you mean, or I know what you mean, right? Sé lo que quiere decir. Mean Traducción literal es significar. Para in this case, significa, valga la redundancia, eh, te estoy siguiendo, ¿verdad? Te entiendo, ¿verdad? Sé lo que quieres decir. I know what you mean. I, sorry about that. Perdón, que aquí. I need, to, I need to erase this. All right? This. Hold on. There you go. Okay. I would suggest to you, le sugiero que frases así, que le ayuden a incrementar su vocabulario, que se las aprenda, las escriba y las agregue a, a su lista, ¿verdad? De frases. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, for example, if you're in a breaker room practicing something and somebody gives you an example or tells you something, se está practicando en la clase de inglés y ya, okay, te entiendo, ¿verdad? I'm following you. All right, te entiendo, ¿verdad? I know what you mean. I know what you, you, you mean. And then Susan replies, what about you? What about you? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué tal tú? Okay, ¿y vos qué tal? ¿Y vos qué onda? Okay, people say that, right? And then, uh, what about you, Alex? Any plans yet? ¿Algún plan? Yet significa todavía o todavía tenés algún plan. Any plans yet? And then Alex replies, I'm going to get a job and live at home. I'm broke. Si usted le agrega la N a esta palabra, broke significa quebrado, pero de una fractura. All right? Physically speaking, si le agrega la N. But in this case, you are talking about lack of money, ¿verdad? Estar en bancarrota. Right? I'm broke. Or you can also say I'm bankrupt. Estar en bancarrota. I'm broke. And I want to pay off my student loan. Si, por ejemplo, si usted debe, tiene un préstamo. If you have a, let's say, a loan in the bank, 
And if you want to pay everything to the bank, it's pay off. Pay off is saldar las deudas, pagar completamente la deuda. All right. Student loan, loan, loan. Es como una chiquita, loan, loan. Como que quiere decir la A, pero le da miedo. Y dice mejor la N, es loan. Student loan, loan. Something like that. Bien nasal ese sonido. Loan es, es un préstamo, right? Loan. But you get it from the bank. Ok. También alguien le puede prestar dinero, ¿verdad? Can you, give, can you uh, lend me money? You say, okay, can I borrow some money from you? So that is specific uh, loan, it, it's from a friend or from someone you trust or from the bank. Entonces, loan es préstamo, ¿ok? Préstamo. Um, any questions for me so far? Do you have any questions for me? Before I ask two volunteers to practice this. Alguna consulta, any questions or anything you would like to ask in there or ask? No? We're good? Eh, I'm going to ask Miss Claudia, ¿verdad? Para aprovechándolo de saludarla and then ask you. Sir. Any questions about this eh, vocabulary, Miss Claudia Enriquez? No. No questions at all. All right. No. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to ask Miss Sonia eh, Lasso. No questions at all. All right, so we're good. We're good. Okay, now, can I please have two volunteers that can help me with this? Yes, Miss Carmen is the first one. Podemos utilizar, verdad, la cuestión que nos da Zoom, verdad, levantar la manita. Ahí yo rapidito. That receive a notification and then I'm gonna just tell you, yeah, it's gonna be me. It could be a either one, a gentleman or, or a, a lady, all right? Or you just open your microphone and let me know. Yeah, I wanna participate. I wanna okay. I uh, okay. Okay, yes, it's Miss Carmen. Yeah, it's you. I, okay, I, okay. I got you thank there. You. Yeah, thank okay. you. And what else? I mean. Me. Yeah, thank you, Miss uh, Susana Hernandez. All right. So um, if you wish, Miss Carmen, you're going to be Alex. And then <laughs> Susan, you're going to be you. Susan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's okay. A big question. Go ahead, please. Okay. So what are you going to do after graduation, Susan? Well, I say some money and I think I really like to travel. Look, you. That sounds exciting. Yeah, then I plan to get job to get a job in my own apartment. Oh, you are not going to live at home? No, I don't want to live with my parents. No, after I start to work. I know what you mean. What about you, Alex? Any plans yet? I'm going to get a job and live at home and work, and I want to pay off my student loan. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. That, that was great. All right. That was good. So now I'm going to uh, remind you of something. No es que lo hicieron mal ni nada, sino que I just uh, remember something. Solo me acordé de algo. Remember that when uh, you practice English, you got to make sure to uh, pronounce the uh, last sound of a word. If it's an S, we have to uh, pronounce like an S. All right. If it's uh, like uh, the past tense, we have to do the past. Pero todavía eso no lo hemos estudiado. Mi punto es, in English, there is something called, y esto lo que han trabajado eh, conmigo, ya va a decir ahí, va otra vez con lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, <laughs> es broma. Okay, link sound, right? Link sound. The first one is supposed to be an S. La primera es una, una S, right? It's a link sounds. What do I mean with this? If there is a consonant sound and the next word starts with a vowel sound, you need to make a connection of both sounds. Si está una consonante, como ese, por ejemplo, and then you have a vowel sound y luego tiene usted una vocal, you have to make a connection. You have to link the sounds. Okay? Tiene que unir o conectar los, los sonidos. All right? 
And that needs to be, uh, let's see, done naturally, right? Tiene que ser de una forma natural o por lo menos ahorita de una forma consciente. So what are you going to do after graduation, right? Eh, and I, por ejemplo, en esto, and I think I really like to travel. Eh, lucky you. Aquí no hay tanto, ¿verdad? Pero that sounds, sounds exciting en este, en este ejemplo. That sounds exciting. Yeah, then I plan to get a, get a job. Almost always, casi siempre, la T al final de una palabra se hace como R. Por eso es que te dice eh, get a, okay, get a job. If you live in, in Great Britain on, or in the United Kingdom, you have to say get a job. But over here, overseas, a este lado del charco decimos get a job, get, get a, get a job. And y aquí casi como se va unido, ¿verdad? La B. All right. Own apartment, como la W no se pronuncia, te va a decir own apartment. Pero esto sale de una forma natural. So this comes out of your mouth naturally. Okay. Uh, so you're not going to live at home. You're not going to live at, live at home. All right. No es que cada sonido y cada palabra la va a unir, ¿verdad? Sino que lo que estoy diciendo que de una forma inconsciente, we do it, you know, unconsciously we do it, but sometimes we don't know. Solamente le estoy haciendo eh, conciencia de que si no pronunciamos los sonidos bien, vamos a hablar de una forma lenta, all right? O de una forma, eh, o sea, no de la mejor forma. No, I don't want to live with my parents. Igual, usted acuérdese, puede decir, I don't want to live, or I don't, I don't want to live. I don't want to leave. It's up to you. El sonido de la T, the want, no se va a repetir con el to, porque es el mismo sonido de la to. Usted no me va a decir, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Va a decir de una sola vez, I don't want to live uh, with my parents. O va a decir, I don't want to live with my parents. Es correcto. Si usted habla de una forma informal, nadie le va a decir nada. Solamente que tenga cuidado con quién usted, se está, a quién se está refiriendo, con quién usted está hablando. Si es una reunión formal o algo que un cliente le interesa, usted va a hablar lo más formal posible eh, sin utilizar gonna o wanna o, o, o cosas por el estilo. Ok. But uh, since we're still learning English and if you travel to the United States, you will see that people make contractions of the time. Si usted viaja or if you have friends in the United States, eh, you're going to find out, se va a dar cuenta that people speak with no grammar at all. A veces omiten la gramática. Okay? So I know what you mean. Tratemos de decir esa frase. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. What you, what you. I know what, or I know what you mean. Right? Tiene forma un poquito más tranquilita. What about you? What about, what about? What a, what a, verdad? What about you? All right? Eh, any plans yet? I'm going to get a, get a job and live at home, I'm broke. And I want to pay off my student loan. And I wanna pay off my student loan, all right? So now I'm gonna stop over here. I'm gonna make a, a, a brief pause. Any questions so far, all right? No es que le voy a estar haciendo mención de eso que les estoy eh, diciendo en cada clase ni nada, sino que usted tiene que irse dando cuenta de los sonidos de sonido que, que va teniendo en las conversaciones, okay? And that's good practice. De una forma, usted lo va haciendo de una forma consciente y después ya va a salir de forma natural. So it comes, there will come the, the time, va a venir el momento, there will come the time in which you will just speak more fluently, but we have to start with something. Pero tenemos que comenzar con algo se comienza, ¿verdad? Pronunciando las S al final de las palabras. That sounds exciting. En español, bueno, aquí en El Salvador no lo hacemos, ¿verdad? Casi no pronunciamos la S. Al final de la palabra. And that's why. Now, listen to the rest of the conversation. What kind of job does Alex want? Where would you, where would Susan like to travel? I'm going to play the second part of the conversation so you can find the job that Alex wants and the uh, place that Susan would like to travel to. Escuchamos la parte B para ver qué quiere, dónde quiere trabajar o qué quiere para trabajar este, este señor Alex, and then Susan, donde quiere ir 
a celebrar, me imagino, right? The graduation over there. Okay? So, one second, please. One moment. Let me get the audio over here. I have it um, right here. Page one. Si hay alguna pregunta o consulta acerca del módulo, ese es el momento, ¿verdad? Ya que creo que estamos todos en clase. Si no, continuamos con el curso normal, ¿verdad? Del, del, um, de la clase. Ok. So, here we go. So, uh, get a pencil or a pen, grab a piece of paper or get your notebook ready. And now just try to answer these, these two questions right there. Let's try to answer these questions on part B, okay? So what kind of job does Alex want and where would Susan like to travel? Donde quiere ir esta señora y que quiere trabajar, en que quiere trabajar Alex, all right? So one, two, three. 108, exercise six, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What kind of job does Alex want? Where would Susan like to travel? What kind of job are you looking for? Well, I've thought a lot about it, and I'd like to do computer programming. So I hope to get a job with a big computer company. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, I've got an interview next week. Well, good luck. And where do you plan to travel to, Susan? Well, I'd like to travel around the United States a bit. There are so many places that I've never seen. Well, please send me a lot of postcards while you're away. All right, I will. And I hope you get the job. Me too. Okay, so right now I'm not gonna ask you what the answers are, but I'm gonna play the audio a second time for you. Todavía no les pregunto las respuestas. Okay, because uh, let me play the audio a second time. Voy a poner el audio una segunda vez. Maybe you got it already. Quizá ya captaron las respuestas, but just in case, all right? I think two times it's, it's a good number. Escuchar dos veces creo que no está de más, all right? There we go. And if you need me to share with you the audio and send it to the chat, I can do that too. Si ustedes me dicen, compártanos el audio en el chat so we can uh, practice it, I can do it, all right? También lo puedo hacer. Okay. But before we start, Mr. Raul, sir, good to see you. And uh, here we go. Solamente para confirmar, ¿verdad? Ya para, para no, no, no. Eh, Sí, sí se pudo escuchar el audio de, de una forma correcta. ¿Sí? Sí, 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 sí. Ok, so you were able to listen to that. Ok, thank you so much. Here we go, second time. Page 108, exercise 6, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What kind of job does Alex want? Where would Susan like to travel? All right, signals, please. What kind of job are you looking for? Well, I've thought a lot about it and I'd like to do computer programming. So I hope to get a job with a big computer company. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, I've got an interview next week. Well, good luck. And where do you plan to travel to, Susan? Well, I'd like to travel around the United States a bit. There are so many places that I've never seen. Well, please send me a lot of postcards while you're away. All right, I will. And I hope you get the job. Me too. All right, see if you were able to understand this. He starts with a very common phrase. Él comienza con una, una frase bien dada, ¿verdad? Who can tell me what the phrase is? But antes de que me compartan las, las respuestas, eh, what does he say? In Spanish, he say, he pensado mucho acerca de tal cosa. He said that. How would you say that in English? If you were able to, to uh, get that part, let me, let me choose uh, one of you over here, Mr. Eduardo or Mr. Francisco, solo por mencionar algunos nombres. Do you remember the phrase that this gentleman uh, states at the very beginning of the uh, uh, audio, sir? 
Mr. Eduardo? Or you don't remember? No, I don't remember. W would you like me to play for you? Yeah. Okay, sure. And the question, same question goes to you, Mr. Francisco. All right. Uh, right now I'm challenging you. All right. This is a challenge for both of you and everybody else. Okay. Son frases dadas que quisiera que ustedes verdad se las aprendieran. Okay. Page 108, exercise six. Hold on, here we go. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What kind of job does Alex want? Where would Susan like to travel? What kind of job are you looking for? Well, I thought a lot about it. And All right, so yes, Mr. Eduardo, Mr. Francisco. Esto no tiene nada que ver con la clase o las dos preguntas, sino que solamente vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Un poquito, un nivel un poquito más alto. All right. Uh -huh. No, uh, he, said, he said that he think uh, a lot about, about that. Right. Topic, and what, about uh, that, yeah, the job of the, of the you, job that they, you they want. You got it. You got it, sir. And what's the past tense of think? Uh, thought. Thought, correct. And so how would you say that phrase? I, I thought a lot about it. I thought a lot about it, right? So that's yeah. the phrase in there. Okay, so that's the phrase that they both mentioned over there. And uh, uh, so, Mr. Francisco, do you agree, sir? Yeah, I'm agree, teacher. All right, you agree over there. So, so can you do us a favor, Mr. Francisco? Uh, could you send that specific phrase to the WhatsApp chat? I thought a lot about it. Okay. To the chat. Just send us a message in there. Como decimos, he pensado mucho en tal cosa o pensé mucho en algo, ¿verdad? Okay. Now, I'm asking everyone right now. Ahorita les pregunto a todos. So, what kind of job does Alex want? Or may I have a volunteer, please? Who can give me the answer? Or a volunteer, please? Podemos ocupar la, la, la opción de, de Zoom, ¿verdad? Raise your hand, okay? So what kind of job does Alex want? Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Go ahead. Yes, Miss Evelyn, Patricia. Uh, he like work in computer program. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah, he wants to work at a computer programming company, right? Something like that. Okay, thank you. All right, what about number two? Where would Susan like to travel? Somebody else? Anybody else? All right, so I have a... a uh, an answer in the chat, all right? Somebody replied in the chat. And Mr. Raul says around the United States, correct, around the USA. So she wants to, to take maybe a road trip, okay? A road trip, road trip, maybe, right? She's gonna travel by car or by plane. We don't know, right? Road trip, okay? Road trip. Uh, Quickly, let me send this to you, right? So computer programming, a company, maybe he's an engineer, right? A computer science engineer. And then uh, Susan would like to travel uh, around the USA or take uh, a road trip right? Take a road trip. Okay. Um, let's see, do we have it's, Yeah, a road trip over there, All right? Oh. Sorry about it. I was sending this to the, to the ROM chat. <laughs> All right. And um, here we go. I'm sending to you uh, these, these uh, answers so everybody has them, all right, just in case. 
Now there comes the time for you to practice in a breaker room. So let me um, send you to a breaker room. You, you will practice with somebody else, this conversation, Alex and, and Zusam, and then you will share with your classmates part B. You know, you want, you, you're gonna practice. So a Susan would like to go to the, uh, to the United States and, and take a road trip. And then um, Alex wants to get a job at a computer programming company. And he has an interview. So give details out of the conversation, verdad? Solamente para aclarar. Practice the conversation with a classmate and then uh, share the answers on part B. All right. So uh, let me ask Mr. Caesar. In, in English or Spanish, podría replantear, could you like share with us what I just told you? Lo, lo yes, en sea. la segunda parte tengo dudas, pero la primera parte sería eh, practicar la conversación mm -hmm. eh, de Alex y Susan. Yeah. And, and yeah, the mm -hmm. second part, Mr. Caesar, thank you. It's just to share, compartir, share as many details out of part B, ¿verdad? Compartir cuántos detalles usted captó de, de la conversación as possible with, with your classmates, okay? Because Mr. Alex in there, he has already an appointment schedule, ¿verdad? Ya tiene un, agendada una, una, cita, una, una entrevista, okay? And they talked about that, right? Uh, y, y de hecho hablan de, de eso. So what I'm going to do before... I mean, while you're working, so while you're working over here, I will be sharing with you the audio in the WhatsApp chat. Mientras usted practica en el breaker room, yo le voy a compartir el audio para que tenga información de, y pueda hablar de la parte B. All right? So that's what I'm going to do right now with you. So that being said, I'm going to stop sharing this screen and send you to the breaker room. In a couple of seconds, you, you will be getting the image of the conversation. Unos cuantos segundos, eh, le voy a compartir la imagen de, de la conversación. Okay. And uh, let me just one second over here. Okay, here we go. Rooms are open. Vaya, eso estaba esperando a ver si alguien tenía problemas. Sí, ahorita la, 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 la mando, la regreso. Ok. Don't worry about it. All right. So here we go. There you go. Es que aparece como conectada usted, como que estuvieran en teléfono o computadora, me aparece Flor Gómez dos veces. Dar los detalles de la conversación. Chef. Bueno, hagámosla no. primero entre dos y después 
se repite uno. Cabal. No sé, ¿les parece? No, sí. Me parece muy bien. Bueno, si quieren comienzo yo con Alex. Y, y, Perfecto. Y, y no sé quién más. Está. Luego César y luego yo. Y así. Ok. Va, excelente. Ok. So what, so what are you going to the offer with the Asian society? Well, I saved some money. Oh, hello. Ay, no, pero ahora la colchita. Hello, hello. teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. 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 Sí, no lo <risa> ¿Qué tal las vacaciones? Ah, no, está bien, está bien. Sí. No nos ha compartido el audio todavía, ¿verdad? No, en eso, en eso estoy ahorita. Pero lo primero pueden practicar la conversación para que después. La conversación. Uh -huh. Por favor. Vale. Pues ahorita quiero ver. No, bueno, dígame, hay que trabajar, ya lo vi, dígame. Así que hay que trabajar. Sí, ya nos puso a trabajar, <risa> bien. Sí, sí, nosotros contentos platicando. Sí, y nosotras bien tranquilas, vea. Bien serenas. Sí. Vaya, espérenme que voy a tratar de compartir entonces la imagen. Please. All right. Oh. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Entonces, Ale, perdón, este, sería Edwin y yo, nosotros dos, entonces, de ahí su uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí. Sí. Sería Alex, entonces. Va, muy bien. Muy bien, empiezo entonces. So, what are you going to do after graduation, Susan? Well, I saved some money and I think I really like to travel. Sí. Inicio yo, ¿quién hace Susan? Hello. 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 All right, so I'm sending the audio to you right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just sent it to you, all right? So first of all, let's try to practice the uh, conversation and then you can play the audio again, lo escuchamos, and share mm -hmm. as many details from, from it. Y compartimos detalles, sí, sí, share details. All right, so I'll be back. All right, hello everyone. Did you practice the conversation already? Hello, teacher. Hello. We are about to start. You're about to start right now. So as you can see, I just sent or shared with you the audio. That's for second. Yeah, the, part, for the second picture. part. Correct. Thank you. Okay, ¿quién va a empezar? Yeah, I think it's better if you start with a conversation. Uh, if you wish, I don't know. Uh, oh, ¿qué iba a decir? Perdón, Mr. Eduardo. Go ahead. No, que yo iba, que yo iba a empezar. Ok, ya. Yeah. No sé, yo iba a ser Alex. You can Alex. be Alex and then uh, Miss Sonia Lasso can be Susan. And then you switch. Yeah. Ok, so, right. I'm going to start. So, what are you going to... I really like to travel. Look at you, that song, excellent. Yeah, then I plan to get a job at my own farm. Oh, you're not going to live at home. No, I don't want to live in with my parents. No, after I start to work. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. What about Alex? Any plans yet? I got to get a job and live at home and work and I want to pay off my student loan. Okay. So what are you going to do after graduation, Susan? Well, 
are you going to do after graduation, Susan? Well, I have uh, some money and I think I really like to travel. Look you, look at you, what some savings? Así es, teacher. Teníamos esa duda. Lucky you, vamos a ver. Eh, now that, okay, that sounds Song. exciting. Exciting. Eh, exciting. Ay. That's, Casi siempre that la, sounds la, exciting. Casi siempre la, la I eh, es una I. I. La I. That sounds exciting. Ay. Eso suena emocionante. Mm -hmm. That sounds yeah. exciting. Okay. Then I plan to get a job and my own apartment. Oh, you're not going to live at home? No, I don't want to live with my parents. Not after I, I start to work. Yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Alex? Any plan? All right, so hello everyone. Hello. Yeah, I guess you already practiced the conversation, am I correct? Ya yeah. la, la práctica de la conversación, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, so and now are you listening to the uh, audio? Están, están en la parte escuchando el audio que les compartí. Sí, sí, escuchándolo. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's the idea. So take notes and then uh, share, uh, let's see, important information, como si tienen una cita, or when is he applying for the job, or what do they say to each other, or las frases que se dicen, cosas así, ¿verdad? You don't really have to say complete sentences, you know, okay, frases. All right, so that's the idea. Okay. Right, we have okay. until 9 p.m., right? Three more minutes, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Hi. teacher. Hello, teacher. Yeah, we have new faces over here. Yes. And of course, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So did you listen did. to the audio? Como dice? Yes, yes. yes, we listen. All right. So you Ahorita estoy intimidado, teacher. <laughs> Why, sir? Only women. Why? Only women <laughs> power. Ahorita me tienen intimidado. Yo les digo que ellas cuando están conversando entre ellas mismas, yo la mitad entiendo, la otra me la invento. <laughs> A señas, toca. <laughs> You speak very, very quickly and Are, yes. perfect conversation, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to be our teacher for this model. Yeah, yeah, you're very so welcome. You are, you, are, you are speaking very, very well. Yes, you make, you make we, well, I am very <laughs> atenta, no sé cómo se dice, estoy atenta, a ver qué dice. Attentive, Attentive right. okay. Yeah, so you, you want to be on the ball, right? Quiero estar en la jugada. You want to be on yes. the ball. <laughs> yes. And you have, to be, you have to be on the ball. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. I know. Yeah, I'm happy that okay. you're happy in this class. All right? So contento yes. de que ustedes están a gusto. Thank you. All right, so can you give me some uh, examples out of the, uh, the audio, please? Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. Les pregunto. Eh, is Alex... Uh, having an appointment for the job? Yes. Yes. Like, yes. She, she, she will have an interview the mm -hmm. next week. Next week, yes. all right. And is Susan, is Susan happy about it, about that? Susan, is, yes. is she happy? Yeah, of course, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, the, there, she, there, said that. she said that, yeah. She said that, actually. Yes. Yeah, correct. And, and so, Susan, does she mention any example uh, of any place that she would like to visit in the United States? Or maybe not. Maybe not, right? No, I don't remember. No, 
she she no. didn't say it about a specific place. She said okay. that she wants to take a road trip around the United States. Around a bit. A bit, a right? Bit. Yes. Maybe because yeah. of this, right? Because of the budget. <laughs> like us. <laughs> like uh, us, right? <laughs> But yes. you know now, <laughs> now we use we use uh, COVID nineteen as a perfect excuse, right? Not a perfect COVID, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> we said that. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. All right, thank okay. you so much. Let's go back to thank the next. Thank you. Okay. Regresamos, Mister. Let's go back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Okay. Evelyn. Yeah, she's just smiling over there. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's continue with this, please, because we have plenty of more activities to practice in this class. All right, so um, can I please have a two volunteers? that can share with the rest of the class specific details about Alex, I would say goals and, and what, what he plans to do. Let's see next week, is he having an appointment to apply for the job? Uh, is he happy about it? Okay, or is Susan uh, going everywhere? So does, does she have maybe uh, a lot of money or a good budget on buen presupuesto to travel? in the United States. Maybe she's traveling, she's traveling by car. We don't know that yet, right? Because she didn't say anything. Okay. So can I please have one or two volunteers? This should be optional, the volunteer. You may just open your mic, all right? Abre su micrófono, o levanta la manita en el... And zoom over there, please. Or just to speak right away. Maybe just about Susan or, or about a uh, Alex. Okay. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Yes, I have a one uh, hand raised in here. Ya tengo una manita por acá. Thank you, Flor. Go ahead. Hola, teacher. Hello. Me saco, me sal, me saco otra vez, ya. Oh, okay. Sorry about it. Would you like to share something Quería about que... Alex or Susan? Briefly, brevemente. Okay. okay. Eh, sería de, 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 ¿cómo se llama? De, de conversación. Any detail that you remember about Susan? Part B, part B, eh, Flor. Si, si, si nos puede ayudar en, en, en part B. All right. If you don't remember, that's okay. You know, uh, somebody else could help us. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna be choosing uh, some of you. All right. I'll be choosing some of you if, if you don't mind. So, so looks like it is. Uh -huh. cool. Dígame. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Um, let me ask over here just one gentleman because I want to uh, uh, you know, speak to him. All right. Mr. Walter Arana. Okay. Anything that you would like to share with us, sir? All right, teacher. Hello, sir. Algo que quisiera compartirnos de lo que se dijo en la parte B de, de Alex y, y, y Susan. If you got to that part, but that's you get on as a part. Spanish or English, I mean, yeah. you decide. I mean, lo que logré comprender es que en la conversación él le dice que él quiere trabajar, como que quiere trabajar en una empresa de computadora. Okay, and how would you say that? Así como armando palabra por palabra, like word by word, así como querer. Okay. He wants. He wants. 
to he work. He to work uh, in company computer. Yes, yes, you got it, sir. You got it. And does he have an appointment, sir? Ya tiene, ya tiene entrevista. Does he have an interview? All right, interview or interview. Así se dice entrevista, all right? Um, okay. Yes or not, if you remember. Yes. Yes, of course, of course, yes. Thank you, sir, thank you. All right? Okay. When you have a verb and in the middle, you have two, cuando tenemos un verbo y luego va seguido de two, and there, there's a second verb, eso se llama infinitivo, all right? Okay, and that's the most common uh, form of a verb. La forma más común de un verbo. Él quiere trabajar. He wants to work. work. Okay? okay, and Susan would like to travel, right? El tú, yeah. verdad, es el puente. It's the bridge between one verb and the other one. All right, thank you, Mr. Walter. I'm gonna thank ask, you. I'm gonna ask a, a new face in here, uh, Miss Carmen, uh, Lisette, right? Yes, you already shared this with me, okay? Ya compartió su dato, but I would like you to help us, okay? Where would Susan like to travel? She didn't know nothing about the specific place, but she yeah. said uh, she wants to take a road trip a bit around the United States. Yeah, a bit, right, yes. And we were joking, estábamos haciendo como el chiste, we were joking that maybe it's because of, you know, financial lack of, <laughs> lack of money <laughs> yeah, financial situation right because of this right but yeah uh, we have the preferred excuse let the see verdad hoy decimos el covid verdad no por el covid verdad but maybe that's one reason right it's, it, it's a it's a valid reason verdad es una un, una razón válida okay let's continue 108. hold on let's continue now for for this evening the uh topic is verse followed by the infinitive, right? Infinitive, you may say. For example, you have a verb plus two plus infinitive, all right? And as the introduction states in here, la, 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 la explicación dice, so the explanation states, many verbs in English are followed by the infinitive with two. Eso de ponerle tú antes de un verbo, eso se llama la forma infinitiva de un verbo. ¿Ok? So, some of these verbs take the pattern, ¿verdad? Algunos de estos verbos siguen el siguiente patrón. ¿Right? Pattern. Pattern es patrón. ¿Right? No patrón de amo, de dueño. No, no, no. Patrón, ¿verdad? Que sigue, ¿verdad? La misma estructura. ¿Right? It's the same structure. Verb to plus infinitive. And in here, it doesn't really matter. No, eh, necesariamente importa y voy a ocupar esa palabra no necesariamente importa so it doesn't really, really matter if the first verb it's in past present future or anything that you can think of como en español no importa si el primer verbo está en el en el pretérito plus con perfecto que nos mencionaban verdad en español so no importa si el primero está en pasado o lo que sea what matters to us is that the second verb to have to before, ¿verdad? El puente, el, el nexo es to. All right? So that is the link. We plan to take a holiday. This is a past tense structure. Dice, planeamos tomar una vacación. Holiday es como un asueto, vacación, break, pause, relax. Number two, she decided to stay at home. Decidió mejor quedarse en casa. Okay, decided to stay. What I might, eh, let's see, focusing on, en que me estoy enfatizando, en que dos verbos no pueden ir juntos si en medio usted no le pone el to. All right? And that's what I'm telling you. Y quiero enfatizar lo siguiente. Many verbs. All right? Many verbs. And I'm going to give you a percentage. All right? I would say 80% of the verbs follow this rule. Yo me atrevería a decir que es el 80% de los verbos en inglés que siguen esta regla. All right? Because you have something else, you know, the ING form. This week or tomorrow, we're going to study the other side of the, of the, uh, of the coin, right? El otro lado de la moneda, or the other side of the story. Mañana vamos a estudiar 
los verbos que van seguidos por la estructura de ING. Cuando usted dice going, doing, studying. But that's a whole different story for tomorrow. Es una, una clase para mañana. Entonces el punto es, si usted pone dos verbos a la par, en medio le va a poner el to. We plan to take a holiday. We decided to stay at home. If you want to make these uh, two statements into present, ¿verdad? Solo ocupa los verbos en su forma básica. Usted va a decir, we plan to take a holiday, sin la ed. Ya en presente usted va a estar diciendo, planeo tomar una vacación o unos días. Like, she decides to stay at home. Ella decide quedarse en casa. All right. Estoy cambiando los verbos, el primer verbo, para demostrarle que al final la idea se mantiene. Lo importante es en cuestión de gramática, si pone dos verbos unidos, el puentecito va a ser to. All right. Other verbs take the pattern. Otros verbos siguen este patrón o la estructura. She wanted the children to learn the piano. I told him to ring the police. Ella quería que los niños o sus hijos aprendieran a tocar el piano. Okay. Sometimes there is a subject in between the two. A veces ponemos verdad a qué nos estamos refiriendo, ¿verdad? Ella quiere que aprenda tal cosa. O usted dice, mi, mi supervisor o mi superior quiere que yo aprenda inglés. My supervisor wants me to learn English. En ese caso, lo que está de más es a la persona que aplica la acción. But right after that, you have two. No importa si los verbos están a la par. It doesn't really matter. Or it doesn't matter if the verbs are separate. Right? ¿Verdad? Tampoco eh, influye demasiado si los verbos no están a la par. Right? They are, they are, if they are not together, it doesn't really matter. But in the end, al final, in the end, you have to put, she wanted to learn the piano. Si usted transforma esta oración a solamente, ella quiso aprender a, a, a el piano, ¿verdad? O, o, o a tocar el piano, se va a decir, she wanted to learn the piano. Pero en este caso me estoy refiriendo, so I'm talking about, in this case, my children or her children, los, los hijos de ella. She wanted the children to learn the piano. Or I told him to ring the police. Ring es sonar, ¿verdad? Pero in the United States, what you're saying over there is llamar, ring the police. ¿verdad? Timbrar, dice la gente, right? Okay, people say that. But that's informal. So up to this point, do we have any questions? All right? Do we have any questions, hey, my friends? I'm going to ask a new face in here. Vamos a, a, a preguntarle a una, ¿verdad? Un nuevo aporte. Mr. Edwin, Daniel Sevillan. Do you have any questions, sir? Yes, teacher. Right. Yeah. Any questions, sir? No, teacher. No, no, teacher. no questions at all. Okay. No. That's okay. Teacher, teacher puede repetir nuevamente la parte dos. Ver yes, el nombre sir. y el infinitivo, por favor. Yes, sir. Yes. If you are talking about a, that a person should do something, si usted se refiere a que una persona debería hacer algo, se lo va a poner en medio del infinitivo. Right? So you're going to put it in the middle. Okay? Si yo le digo um, a alguien, vaya a traer el pan, usted le va a decir, I want you to buy the uh, bread. All right? That's what we said in Spanish, right? Quiero que vayas. Or, or, or at your work, sir, they ask you. A usted le pregunta, quiero que me escriba un correo o quiero que haga ese reporte. Usted le va a decir, I want you to write the report. Lo que único cambio que va a hacer es poner a la persona que recibe la acción en medio de del infinitivo, in the middle of. Yes, Miss Carmen, you want to say something? Yes, it's the difference between the, the, the two examples. The first part, the, the action is the, the same person that is speaking. Yeah, correct. I decide to take or uh, she decide to, to, to stay at home. But in yeah. the second phrases, the action is is um for somebody else right so for somebody else yes. yes correct yes yeah that's a great that's a great example thank you for helping us yes 
in, in the verb to infinitive, you say, I, you decide, right? To do something. But on the second one, you are telling somebody else to do something. <clears throat> so the action uh, is on somebody else. Okay? La acción está en, en alguien más. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. En el infinitivo siempre se le va a agregar al verbo ed. Eh, no. El primer verbo puede ir en cualquier tiempo. Lo importante es que después del to, el verbo va en su forma básica. Y ese es el infinitivo. Okay. The infinitive is to plus the verb. Ese es el infinitivo de un verbo. Que lleve el to y okay. el verbo en su forma básica. In Spanish we say ir, ar, todo eso. Correr, okay. gritar. That's infinitive. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right. Por eso les mencionaba el ejemplo de que el primer verbo Puede ser en el, el pretérito plus con perfecto de no sé qué. Right? But the second one needs to be with to. ¿Verdad? O sea, el nexo es to. Right? O, o lo que usted amarra. Okay, so let's continue. We have two very common verbs are make and let are followed by the infinitive without to. They take the partner. El patrón de ellos es verb plus noun plus infinitive. My, my parents made me come home early. En estos usted no, no le tiene que agregar el to, pero estos son la, la, la excepción. All right. These are the exceptions over there. They wouldn't let me stay up late. My parents made me come home early. All right. Usted dice mi supervisor o mi compañero, my coworker made me come home early or you can say traffic makes me come home late <laughs> all the time you can say right el tráfico me hace llegar a casa tarde okay or you can also say if uh, waking up early levantarse temprano makes me get to work early verdad me hace llegar temprano al trabajo okay right this, these two verbs are an example of an infinitive, but without two. Lo que le estoy tratando de decir es que no el 100% del infinitivo va a llevar el two. Pero lo que sí le quiero decir y que quede, quede claro eh, es que el verbo, el segundo verbo, nunca, never, ever, ever will change at all. Nunca le va a poner una S, you're not going to add a S, an ING, ni nada, le va, va a tocar el segundo verbo. Ok. Because it's the infinitive, ¿verdad? Si usted traduce es, mis papás me hicieron venir a casa temprano, ¿ok? Esa estructura de ar, er, ir, will never change, all right? Will never change in the second verb. But we're going to understand this with examples, so don't worry about it. But I would say 99% of the time, el 99% de las veces, si usted va a ocupar un segundo verbo, Después de two, el verbo no le va a cambiar. All right? Never. I would say never. Me atrevo a decir que nunca. Lo que le puede cambiar es que de repente el segundo verbo no necesita que usted anteponga el to. All right? Como en el caso de made y en el caso de let. Because this is a language, right? Es un idioma, ¿verdad? No estamos aprendiendo leyes ni nada por el estilo. So there are some exceptions to the rule. Okay, so do we have any questions so far? Um, I'm going to ask familiar faces over here. Miss Sarai, any questions? All right? Let me say yes or not. Okay. Solo, so I'm okay, just, just confirm it. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Eduardo, we're good? Okay, no questions over there. Mr. Raul? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Hello. Uh, yes, Miss Sonia. No me quedó clara totalmente la última explicación de la última parte. Del no mate puede... and let. That's what we're talking about. Ah, sí. Yeah, sure. Esos son los únicos verbos en los que no necesito el tú. Únicamente en ellos dos. Eso Correct. Como aprendí. Correct. So mate. Y let. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Basically, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Correct. The meaning does not change. What changes is the structure, ¿verdad? La gramática es la que cambia, pero el significado es lo mismo. Usted va a decir, mis papás 
Me hicieron llegar o venir a casa temprano. They wouldn't let me stay up late, ¿verdad? No me dejaron quedarme despierto hasta tarde. Si se fija, ¿verdad? La, la estructura es ar, er, ir, or, ur, ¿verdad? That one. Ok, so that's the structure over there. So now, let's try to practice. Let's try to practice. So I'm, go I'm going to help you with the first one. Let's say that this is the number one, right? And let's say that this is number two. And uh, over here, we have uh, some expressions. Shall we get married? Shall is a very a formal way to say will. En lugar de decir will de futuro, una forma bien formal es shall. Like, like in the Ten Commandments, ¿verdad? Como en los Diez Mandamientos, ¿verdad? Que está en, dice, you shall not kill, ¿verdad? No matarás. Because it's something formal and something serious. Okay? In this case, it's the same thing. Shall we get married? So, shall es como decir will, ¿verdad? Nos casamos, pero como es algo, ¿verdad? Bien serio. It's a very serious decision, right? So, you, you, you say, um, shall we get married? And, and then... He replies, yes, let's. They decided to get married. All right. So usted va a contar, ¿verdad? Lo que la otra gente dijo. So you're going to report what these people said. Okay. She agreed, ¿verdad? Ellos acord ella acordó o dijo que sí. He offered, se ofreció. They arranged, ¿verdad? Eh, planearon, planificaron, arreglaron las cosas. She refused. She promised, and then we have the situation. So please help me. And then she says, okay. Number three, can I carry your bag for you? And then she replies, no, thanks. I can manage. ¿verdad? Me las arreglo sola. Number four, let's meet at eight o'clock. And then she says, okay, fine. Number five, what's your name? And then she says, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, that's very rude, right? That's very rude. So please don't tell anyone. I won't. I promise. So what you're going to do is just to make the infinitive using the phrases that you have over there. Okay. And for this, eh, we're going to do this as a class. So I'm going to choose a couple of you to do it. All right. To do it. But um, let me ask. Uh, somebody that I haven't chosen in the class yet. Alguien que no, no le he eh, tenido la oportunidad de hablar with. All right. Mr. Luis Armando, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, sir. So what would be number two? How would you say she agree what? Please help me. Okay. He offered. Oh, well, number two. Number two. I'm sorry. This number is, is bad, right? She, she agreed. Great. She agreed. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she agreed. You, you repeat it, please? Excuse me? Oh, can, can you repeat me, please? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me share the screen one more time first. Lo voy a compartir a por acá la pantalla. Eh, I want to get more options over here. Usted solamente va a hacer el infinitivo, ¿verdad? Va a poner esa frase, ¿verdad? Ese comienzo, that beginning of the phrase, based on what they say, ¿verdad? Aquí le dice él, por favor, ayúdeme. Y ella dice, ok. All right. Entonces, ella acordó, what? In help. Spanish would be, yes, yeah, to help. And then you're going to write, a quien le va a ayudar, verdad? She agree. She agree. She yes, agree to help. Uh-huh. To? To help. A quien, who? To help him. To help him, right? Or to help him. Thank you, sir. So that's what we will do, right? She agreed to help him. And that's infinity, verdad? Ella acordó. Ayudarle, right? O solamente dijo que sí. That would be a translation, my brother. Okay. So let, okay. let, me, do, let okay. me do something for you, all right? Before I, I continue explaining more details, okay? Because there's going to be something else that you're going to practice in here. 
Now, um, be careful with what you are referring to. ¿Verdad? Pongámosle atención, ¿verdad? A la persona que nosotros nos estamos refiriendo. Like in this case, he offered maybe to, to carry, uh, y, y conjuguemos, ¿verdad? Las cuestiones posesivas, ¿verdad? If it's my, your, his, her, their, those things, right? And the, and the object pronoun, if it's him or her, ¿verdad? Hay que conjugar esas cosas, ¿verdad? Those specific things. Dice, él se ofreció a llevar sus maletas, ¿verdad? Pero de ellas, ¿verdad? No vayamos a decir your bag, ¿ok? Ni vayamos a decir his bag, ¿ok? So that's why we, we have to think a little bit on this one, all right? So, Okay, that's one thing. That's one thing to practice. But I want to send you to a breaker room. I want to send you to a breaker room to practice. Okay. And, and that's why uh, to kill two birds with one stone. Okay, para matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro, vamos a, a practicar a second exercise over here. All right. We're going to practice a second exercise right here. One sec. All right. Hold on. Uh, okay, that's much better. All right. Recapitulando, all right? So just to, to, to make everything clear. So first of all, you have to make the infinitive, which is pretty simple. And then on number two, you have eight phrases. This is the second exercise that you're going to be completing in the breaker room. Segundo ejercicio para el breaker room, okay? Maybe the first one, esta, esta diapositiva, this slide, maybe you did it already, mientras yo estoy explicando o hablando, I think you did it already, ¿ok? Entonces lo que vamos a hacer en el breaker room solamente revisar, corroborar. So the only thing you will do is to double check if your uh, sentences are correct with your classmates. Entonces en el breaker room you're going to practice this and double check, ¿verdad? Corroborar, double check if your statements are correct. All right. The second thing that you will do is to match emparejar, okay, these eight statements with these phrases. Okay. And then we have match the expressions to make eight sentences. Tenemos las oraciones inconclusas, incomplete statements on the left. En la izquierda están los, los, los enunciados incompletos. And on your right, you have the phrases. Okay. For example, if you say somebody's taking my bicycle, I forgot to look it when I went into the shop. Correct. To lock it when I went into the shop. <laughs> Unfortunately, right? It, it was stolen, right? What's stolen. Um, and that's what you're going to do. So you're going to write number one and then the second phrase in there. O si usted gusta, escribe todo, verdad? Part A and part B or only the, uh, the second part of the statement, you know, the component. Usted, usted decide, escribe todo desde comenzando, somebody's taking my bicycle, or, um, or, or just the second part, which is the lucky when I went to the shop. Okay? Usted escribe number one, you write number one, and then to lucky when I went into the shop, or you just go, somebody's taking my bicycle, I forgot to lucky when I went into my shop, and that's number one. All right? Okay, understood? It's up to you. All right, it's up to you. So let me send you to a breaker room. Um, let's say that for the, for the first three minutes or five, work individually on your own. Trabajemos de forma individual in a breaker room. And then once you finish, start discussing the responses you have in there. All right? Okay, so let's make a combination, verdad? Individual work, en teamwork, vamos, vamos a, a, a combinar eso, ¿verdad? Trabajo individual y grupal, ¿ok? If, if necessary. Um, and just to take advantage of the time, as we are speaking, um, let me send to you the, um, the sentences. Le voy a mandar la, la captura de pantalla, all right? Antes de before we start this, okay? I'm gonna send you the first one, which is the one I'm doing right now, okay? And then the second one. All right, ahí está. That's the first one. 
and that's the second one. Let's take advantage of the time, please. So what I'm sending this to you, you can be working, completing this exercise because right now it's 929. 30 more minutes and this class will be over, all right? 30 more minutes and this class will be over, okay? So one second. All right, so I'm getting the second image uh, ready, and uh, you'll be you'll be getting this in a couple of seconds. Okay, so just one moment, and um, here we go. And All right, so the two images have been sent to the chat. Now I'm going to stop sharing the screen and send you to a break room. Okay, so would you like me to, to make another room or the same? So the same, it's, it's okay for you, right? Okay. Te puedo ayudar, va. Ah, que se le puede. Dar las bolsas. Pues, va de bolsas, como que le puede ayudar a llevar la bolsa y ella le dice que no, gracias. Manage. Manage. Yo puedo ya. solo. Ahí dice no, gracias, yo, yo puedo manejar, dice o algo así. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí es. Entonces, eh... he, he offered to help her. Ahí le vamos a poner, eh, como dice, que él se ofreció. He offered. Carry your back. Uh, no, to carry. La verbo, to ofrece. Vale, por ejemplo, veamos el anterior. Dice, please help me. Ella, ok, ella... She, she Just one great thing. To help Pardon, de, de son las maletas, Mr. Walter, Mr. Luis. Son de la de, de ella. Exacto. Y de cuál, es, cuál es el su de ella? Su de, de posesivo. Her. Her, right? Yes. Her. So he offered to he carry. Offered, he offered to help. To help. Yeah, to pero help en ese her. caso, es, sí, le va a ayudar, to, pero es, es cargar la maleta. He offered to ah. carry her. Her, her what? Her, lonchera, bolso, el que. Her bag. De, her que, bag, yes, correct, correct. He so, offered to carry her, her bag. Bags. He offered to carry her bag. Her bags, yes. A ver, a ver, yes. ver ordenémonos, teacher. Entonces, he offered, he offered, 
help her back. No, solo son dos verbos lo que tienen que ir, eh, mister. Va a ir, he offered to carry her back. En esta imagen sí no puedo escribir, así que escribiría, pero sí, no puedo. Sí, no, no se puede, ¿verdad? Solo en la presentación. Ni que se viendo directamente del WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. He offered to carry her back. Her back, correct. Her back. Yes. Yes. El her es un posesivo, ¿verdad? He offered to carry her back. El su. Su. Sí, su ella. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay, and not translate me. Okay. Let's take No, thanks. I can manage it. Hello, hello. El él le pregunta que si le puede ayudar le con puede la maleta. Ayudar con la maleta. Hello, teacher. La maleta. Y Nos él le dice falta que una no. teacher. Ajá. <laughs> 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 que sí, Rocío. <risa> Rocío. Ah, no, pero malas noticias con Rocío. No se inscribió, sí, Rocío. La, la cambiaron. No, peor aún. Este, cambiaron a alguien de ahí del trabajo y la persona que llegó, así en buen salvadoreño, se le fue la piscucha. No, sí. los, no los inscribió. No los Ay, no. Así que Rocío quedó fuera. Me escribió la semana pasada. Viendo a ver si yo recibí, había recibido algo ya cuando yo recibí la lista de ustedes. Así con. No. Lamento. Sí, <risa> ay, pobrecita. Quedó fuera. Ay, no. Sí, Hasta me el dice, siguiente, entonces le va a tocar. Sí, pero... como, como ella es bien, bien organizada, ¿verdad? En cuestiones sí. así, me decidiera que ahorita cómo lamento y cómo me duele el hecho de que ese se, se nos escapara, me dice. Sí, sí, qué lástima. lástima. Sí, porque nos avisan casi que como acabar a la mitad del, 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 uh -huh. del curso. Uh -huh. Sí, es que tiempo hubo, pero como sí. cambiaron a la encargada, entonces se descontinuó eso. Ay, qué sí. lástima. Uh -huh. Ni modo, ¿verdad? Sí, buen sí. elemento. <risa> sí, era muy buena, es muy buena ella. Sí, es muy sí. buena. Nos va a hacer falta. Sí, la verdad que sí, la verdad que sí. ¿Verdad? Bueno, entonces aquí estamos eh, tratando de ver qué íbamos a hacer. Bueno, vale, entonces lo de la maleta. Y luego yes. dice, no, gracias. No puedo. Uh, o sí puedo. I can... Number... One number, three. number three. Number three. three. Can I, yeah, can I carry your bag for you? Digamos que viene alguien al aeropuerto y le dice, le, puedo, le llevo su maleta. <laughs> no, can gracias, I, yo puedo llevar. No, verdad. No, can I carry your bag for you? No, thanks. I can manage. Yo, yo puedo solo o sola. Mm. Ah. Mm, yo, puedo yo puedo solo. solo. I can manage. <laughs> manage. Por eso es que es manager, ¿verdad? La persona que dirige. Manager, porque él dirige o ella dirige. Mm -hmm. Se las arregla solita o designando. Ok. Mm -hmm. Manage. Sí, so, he offered to can. Ajá. O vamos a ocupar lo que él le dijo, ¿verdad? Hey, le, él, le llevo la maleta, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es? What's the verb? I can't carry. Carry. Carry, correct. Cargar, llevar. Mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Carry. Y, en la suya, la mía o de quién? Who? Mm -hmm. So he offered to carry la maleta you. de ella, ¿verdad? De ella, mm -hmm. suya, ¿verdad? And what's, what's the word that we need to use? ¿Cuál es la palabra precisa que tenemos que ocupar? She. She. Mm, sí, she es ella, ¿verdad? No. Pero sería. Uh -huh. She. Her. 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 Yeah, so he offered to carry her back. That's it. Her back. Él se ofreció llevarle la maleta o su maleta. Oh, well. uh, okay. Cuando él le pregunta, le pregunta y le dice, Can I carry your back for you? ¿Por qué directamente que le está preguntando? Okay. Entonces, por eso ocupa your, your back. Okay. okay. But in this case, since you are reporting this, lo está reportando, es decir, he offered to carry her back. Like that. All right. 
Okay. All right, so I will see you around. Vamos aquí a meterme de espía. <laughs> All right, so hello everyone. Mr. Francisco, Mr. Edwin, and Ms. Sulma Marlene. Right. Did you finish the first part already, Mr. Francisco? Yeah, first part. Right. Could you could you help me with the answers, please? Uh, let's see. If you don't mind, Mr. Francisco, we start with number. Bueno, no he terminado realmente. Estaba haciendo la, la segunda parte. Estaba confuso, pero bueno, okay. vamos a ver la, la segunda. Please help me. Ah, bueno, este ya estaba. Okay. Can I carry your bag for you? No thanks. I can manage. He offered help her to to help her. Yeah, you can say that, but if you use the verb carry, sir, if Mr. Francisco, si ocupamos carry, he offered to. If you want to be more, more specific, si pudiera ser más específico, como, can I carry your bag? The action means carry, right? Carry. Mm -hmm. So he offered to. Carry. To carry, uh-huh. Her, her bag. Her bag, correct. Perfect, mm -hmm, sir. Her bag. Her bag, yes. And you can also say he offered to help her, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, okay. that's okay. Uh, Mr. Edwin, number Mr. number four, sir. Let's, okay. let's meet at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. Uh, they arrange to meet eight o'clock. That's correct. Yeah, you got it, sir. And then Miss Sulma, what's your name? No, it's your Sulma, right? And I'm going to tell you, no le voy a decir. <laughs> I don't know you, right? <laughs> huh? eh, fíjese, teacher, que disculparme, pero fíjese que cuando se dio la indicación no, no estaba oyendo, entonces no sé qué había que hacer y, y no les pregunté a los compañeros porque estaban muy atentos trabajando. Sí. Entonces quería, cuando llegáramos al momento de, del grupo, de que si me ayudaban a saber qué había que hacer porque no oí vale. la explicación fíjense, teacher. discúlpeme no, no, no se preocupe, básicamente cuando usted pone dos verbos a la par tiene que poner el tú en medio de ¿verdad? en este caso uh -huh, uh -huh. Aquí está como una pequeña conversación de estas dos personas, digamos que si a usted le preguntan el nombre, what's your name y la, la, la persona a la otra le contesta no le voy a decir entonces usted va a reportar que ella rehusó en este caso decirle el nombre entonces ¿cómo dice usted eso? She refused. Y seguimos la estructura. To. Y de ahí usted va a ocupar el, el verbo que está por acá, que es tell, ¿verdad? Y ya va a decir el nombre de ella. Entonces, cuestión gramatical. Entonces puede decir, she refused to tell. ¿Cuál es el, el, el suyo de ella? Digamos, ¿Es, es his or her, Miss Ulma. Her. Her. Yeah. O sea, usted va a decir, she refused to tell her name. Ok. Mm, right. Usó decir su nombre, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. okay. All right. sí, ya le entendí, ya comprendí. Yes. And uh, si se anima en la última, lo hacemos juntos, dice, ¿verdad? Please don't tell anyone. Digamos que, no sé, su comadre, compadre o alguien le dice, please don't tell anyone. No le diga a nadie, por favor. Y usted le dice, I won't. No, 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 lo, no lo voy a decir, I promise. O sea, no le voy a decir a nadie. I promise, lo prometo. Entonces usted dice, she promised. Ah, pero, pero aquí sí ya la puse en, en, en qué pensar, porque esta parte todavía no la había explicado yo. Entonces, el negativo. All right. Mm. The negative. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yo la tengo, eh, teacher. I, I you have it already. Ok, you have it already. Ok, uh -huh. Mr. Edwin, go ahead, please, sir. Este, she promised. Uh -huh. Don't tell anyone, anyone. Yeah, you have a good idea, but we have to make a change grammar. Hold on, sir. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I think that's better. In that case, sir, uh, lo vamos a dejar un poquito con la duda, y verdad, no por mala gente, sino para. <laughs> Para ponerle un poco de picante, you know, spice it up over there, right? Spice it up. Solamente le, le adelanto. We don't say don't. We use only not. Okay, and then the infinitive. All right, ahí le dejo. And I will see you around, ¿verdad? Okay, and let's continue working on the second part. 
y después, ¿verdad? Como decía el Chapulín, síganme los buenos, ¿verdad? Después. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> o los malos. <laughs> ok, so see you around. Eh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the other groups. I'm gonna get back to you later. All right. Uh, hold on. Okay. I made the change. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. We are starting the second part. We are starting the second part. All right. Yes. Nice. Could you take turns uh, now uh, with the answers on number three? Four, five, and six, please. Yes. Okay, so if you don't mind, uh, we, we can start with Miss Susana, Miss Carmen, and Mr. Nelson. Okay. 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 Go ahead, please. The, the number three. Please. He offered to carry her bag. Correct. Miss Carmen. They arranged to meet at eight o'clock. That's correct. And Mr. Nelson, number five, sir. She refused to tell him your name. All right. My name or her name, sir? <laughs> tell him her name. Yeah, like, like today, I guess Miss Carmen asked me, so what's your name? And I would say, no, 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 I won't say it to uh, you. <laughs> I remember about it. <laughs> yeah, it would just get disconnected. Yeah, she refused to tell him her name you can say that or or you can say she refused to tell her name right? yes just like that and okay. uh let's see miss susanna the last one she promised to tell anyone all right she promised not to tell anyone right she not promised to tell. So don't she promised uh, uh, don't to to tell. Tell. in not that in, in that case we delete the do and we just stay with not so she promised not to tell anyone all right okay okay so that's what we she say promised, so she promised okay. not to tell anyone not to all right okay. not why why is that because we're not giving a command or an order we're just saying something right okay. for if i tell you don't do it or don't tell anyone, that's like an order, okay? What a request. But right now I'm telling you, please not tell anyone, right? Just like that. So she promised not to tell anyone, okay? It's a pattern, a pattern too. That's the pattern, that's the pattern, that's the pattern, yes. Okay, correct. So please promise not to do it again. Okay, I promise. Okay. You promise, right? I promise. <laughs> promise. Nice. The second right. one, second exercise is somebody's taking my bicycle. You just have to complement the first part with the second one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think what's difficult in this one is the vocabulary. Okay. It's the vocabulary. Right. I'm going to get back to you on this one. All right. I'm just checking the other rooms. So I will see you in a couple of minutes, okay? Okay. Thank nice. You. Cool. Well, the second uh, is have a great holiday. I hope to hear to hear all about it when you come back. Okay, I make the change. The third one, my the mom third? is fifty-five years old, but she's learning to swim at the local to swim pool. At the local pool. Okay. That's correct. Number four. The four? No, this is the four. Bruce, Bruce didn't have a, uh, hello. Bruce didn't have a happy childhood. He prefers not to talk about it, yeah. Pero my mom is 60 years old, <laughs> but she's learning to swing at the local pool. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sí, no hay límites para, para hacer las cosas. Yeah. Le da es un le da es un número nada más. Exactly. Eh, to move it on your own. Está medio. La primera, pero... All right, so can I help you? The number three. Okay, number three. Yes, of course. Uh, 
I think I'm sure in the screen. Yeah. Okay, I mean, nice. I was. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Look at my screen, please. Number three, my mom is 65 years old, but she's learning. Yeah, of course, to swim at the local pool. Yep, that's the one. So no, yeah, that's the one. My mom is 65 years old, but she's learning to swim at the local pool. Is that what you have? <laughs> okay, so that's a correct one. Okay, those didn't have a happy children. Yeah, they have a happy childhood, right? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he prefers not to talk about it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's like no, 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 don't talk about it, right? So I prefer not to talk about it, right? It's like we we prefer not to not to talk about our exes, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 That is a fact, sir. Okay, okay, so number two, have a great holiday. I hope not to go skiing this year. Mm, no, no, it doesn't. Have a diner in, the, in town. No. Ah, the last one. To hear all yeah. When you come right. back. I hope about... to hear all about when you come back. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not sure, just skip it and go to the next one, and then everything get you know will get back to you. All right. For the card. <laughs> Correct. Trial and error, correct. Yeah. Trial and error. You got it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's what I do. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, to have dinner in town. Como en el centro. En la ciudad. To have dinner in, in, in town, huh? Yes. Cinco minutos. Yeah, five more minutes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I'm over here. Damos una cena en la ciudad. Dinner. Okay. In. The table is streaming. Tom. 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 ¿Cuál van quedando? En la, la número siete vamos ahorita. La tabla, okay. la mesa es extremadamente the segura. Esa. Don't drink. The table is extremely heavy. Don't try. No intente moverla. To move it in on your own. Es la primera, cabal. Intentes moverla por tu cuenta. Uh -huh. Entonces, la última Porque es muy pesada. Va a quedar. To look. La última. Es not to talk about it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. La tercera. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you talk to have. Okay. Yeah. Ay, teacher. Ay. Estamos aquí. En un... Hello, hello. <laughs> I just came to the rescue, oh. ¿verdad? Venimos a, a rescatarlas un poquito. <laughs> Estamos en el dilema. Sí, no, no se preocupa. Cuando este... de repente no hay así como sentido, eh, sáltese, digamos, alguna y, y puede, puede regresar. Ah. Por descarte, hágalo. Ok. Eso funciona mucho. All right, mm -hmm. in this case. Right. Six. So, what number are you uh, working on right now? Vamos por la cinco. La number cinco five. Cinco. We need to say manage, mm -hmm. so we agree. Eh, no llamar a sus parientes. Eh, not to no. talk about it. Esa no. es no, not really. Not to tell our parents, no decirle a los papás, no, no really. Mm -mm. Um, esto está basado en un contexto bastante anglosajón, ¿verdad? Cuestión de que tienen otras actividades que nosotros no hacemos, ¿verdad? Ya con esa ley. Mm -hmm. right. Like, for example, uh, eh, ir a surfear. You know, go surfing, people. We don't. I don't do it. I no, to go skiing. 
go skiing, right? Go skiing this yeah. year. Correct. Mm -hmm. Go skiing this year. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Por ejemplo, en la tres, my mom uh, is um, 65 years old, uh -huh. but she learned, eh, puede ser to swim at the local pool. Yeah, that's a correct one. Yeah. Uh -huh. My mom is 65 years 65. old, but she's learning how to swim uh -huh. uh, at the local pool. All right? Entonces tenemos mala la cuatro porque habíamos puesto la de la skin gear. Mm -hmm. la no, es uh, imagine uh. this. <laughs> Imagínense como a nadie le gusta hablar de sus exes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. So, it's the same case, but in this case is childhood. Este, este señor Bruce, Bruce didn't have a happy childhood. No tuvo una buena niñez. Uh -huh. Una niñez feliz. So, he prefers, ¿qué prefiere él? To talk or not to talk? Not to tell our parents. Eh, no, eso se refiere como un secreto. Um, That's like a secret. Sería... Mm -hmm. But since we're running out of time. Um, not to talk about it. Not to talk about it, correct. Not to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. No yes. <laughs> Definitivamente. Got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not, not. One more minute. Talk about. Casi terminábamos. Casi terminábamos. Casi. Como la selecta, ¿verdad? Como la selecta, ¿verdad? Casi, casi. Casi empatábamos. Casi empataban. Casi gana el Barcelona. No. Casi. No, es broma. Es broma. Casi empataban, pero no, vea, se quedaron. Casi clasificaba, vea. Casi, pero no. Solo sacando ahí. Ay, cabal. Bueno. Ay, Mary. All right. Ay, Mary. Don't... I will see you around. All right, so hello everyone. Uh, this class is almost over, two more minutes, and it's 10 p.m. Yeah, we almost made it, okay? Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Let's see, Mr. Because I told him that, uh, he asked me a question, right? Mr. Edwin, right? You asked me a question on part one. Yes. Number, number six, sir. So what would be the answer then, sir? So the thing is, please don't tell anyone. I won't, she says. I promise. So she promised. To don't, don't promise. Promise. Mm -hmm. Don't tell sure? promise. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to don't tell anyone. All anyone. Right. Yeah, you're, you're close over there because you're saying something negative over there, okay? But let me help you, all right? Let me help you, all right? Okay, so when you use a negative, uh, my friends, you gotta say not, okay? We don't use don't in the middle of a sentence. En medio de una oración, no ocupamos el don't, just like that, okay? In the middle of two verbs, we don't say don't. So we say, she promised not to. Not to uh, tell. Not to tell, right? Yeah, not to tell. Yeah, not to tell. Not to tell anyone. Just like that. We, we use don't when you're giving an order, a command, a task to someone. So don't do it, please. Don't tell anyone. Because it's como una... Solicitud, una orden, consigna, right? Don't tell anyone. And then uh, I say, I promise not to tell anyone, all right? Es un, una simple confirmación. I promise not to tell anyone. And this is the pattern that we need to follow. Not to, when it's negative, vamos a poner the first verb plus not to and the verb, okay? 
what about this one? If somebody can help me, please. Ya casi no tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? We almost don't have more time. She refused. All right. Please help me out, please. She refused to tell him her name. To tell her? Yeah. To tell yeah. him. Her name. Her name, correct. Or you just can't say in general, uh, she refused to tell her name. Because we already know, you know, that we're talking about another person mother, or that she's referring to somebody else. You can say she refused to tell him her name or she refused to tell her name. ¿verdad? Rehusó decirle el nombre a él y rehusó decirle su nombre. Okay, just like that. Uh, number four. All right. Continue, please, Miss Carmen, if you don't mind. They arrange? They arrange to meet at eight o'clock. Meet at eight o'clock, right? Okay, sorry about it. We can say tonight. Excuse me? We can say they arrange to meet tonight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can say that. She, uh, she arranged to meet, yeah. Sorry about the capital. And number three. Yeah. He offered to carry her back. Correct. He offered to carry her back, all right? And she says not, right? Of course. Nice. Very quickly, I'm gonna move to the next uh, screen. And then uh, since we're running out of time, uh, All right, since we're running out of time, I'm just going to double check this for you. Yo le puedo hacer la respuesta solamente por cuestiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? And tomorrow, we will continue with this, all right? So, tomorrow, our objective will be to make a, a mission, ¿verdad? Vamos a escribir misiones de empresas, right? Missions of, of companies. So, that's what for tomorrow. But, before we go, let me give you the answer. So somebody's taking my bicycle, so I forgot to lock it when I went into the shop. Have a great holiday. I hope to hear of, about it when you come back. My mom is 65 years old, but she's learning to swim at the local pool. Bruce didn't have a happy childhood, so he prefers not to talk about it. We need to say many, so we'd agree not to go skiing this year. I'm meeting John tonight with a range. I think is to have dinner in town. Uh, that table is extremely heavy. Don't try to move it on your own. I'll tell you what happened if you promise not to talk, no, if you promise um, what not to tell our parents. Okay, that's the one. All right, not to tell our parents. So time is up. Okay, we made it. Congratulations, first class uh, of the module, right? And let's see who's supposed to be in, in the 101, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera says in there. But I don't think he's in class, right? L let me check the, the, the attendance over here. So one second, please. Déjeme revisar la, la asistencia. All right, so I'm showing uh, Ms. Carmen, Cesar, Claudia, uh, Sarai, uh, Ms. Mr. Edwin, Ms. Evelyn, L Mr. Luis, Nelson, Raul, Susana, Walter, uh, Catherine, Sonia, Susana, Zulma, and Eduardo. So that's what I want. Who would like to take the place of Mr. Alfonso? Verdad? Estamos ahorita a la garduña. Okay. Who would like to take advantage of the 10 minutes? All right. Yo me quedo. Yo adelanto. Thank you, Mr. Caesar. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. So see you tomorrow. And nice to meet you, everyone. All right. The All ones. Thank you. Good night. Good night. to see you. All right. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, Mr. Raul. Catherine, no está.
Sí, ya tienen, creo que tuvo problemas de audio, fíjense. Vamos a, a ponerla en la sala de espera. Ok, there we go. Perfect. Bastantes cambios, teacher. ¿Cree usted? Es, sí. Creo que ya está 50-50, los que saben y los que no saben, ya solo Eduardo. Ah, no, Eduardo tiene que ponerse las pilas porque si no se va quedando. O sea, llega un momento de que si usted se confía, o sea, no es el que llega primero, sino es claro. o sea, saber llegar, ¿verdad? Entonces, exacto. Y, y la, perseverancia, la perseverancia importa mucho en esto, ¿ok? Y, y así se lo digo. Y le voy a comentar así brevemente. Yo cuando comencé a estudiar, comencé en cursos libres de inglés. O sea, no es que viví en Estados Unidos. ¿verdad? Después estudié por cuestiones de la universidad. Pero yo tenía compañeros que ya se habían echado 20 módulos de inglés. <risa> Iba apenas cuatro. Apenas cuatro módulos. Y ya con eso me defendí, ¿verdad? Como gato panza arriba, pero ahí fui. ¿Verdad? Al final eh, uno aprende en el camino. Así que... Eh, ánimo. Usted es bien organizado, responsable y tenemos muchas eh, cuestiones en casa, problemas o cuestiones del trabajo, pero eso puede esperar, ¿verdad? Entonces, y si mientras tengamos salud o lo que tengamos, hay que seguir adelante. Porque de mi parte también yo digo, ah, es cierto, necesitamos el trabajo, las entradas de dinero y de repente dice, pero ya es bien noche. Eso uno lo piensa antes, pero ya cuando va a llegar y uno está metido en esto, no, hombre, uno ya <ríe> se emociona. Sí, es cierto. Sí, es cierto. Yo a veces dudaba porque decía, bueno, le pasa que como trabaja en conta, a veces sí. pienso que tal vez no hay cosas que hacer allá en la oficina, entonces siempre es complicado. Y nosotros tuvimos recientemente un cambio de empresa, de patronos, entonces, uh -huh. este, pero gracias a Dios sí logro venir bien a tiempo. De hecho, vengo una hora y media antes de que empiece la clase, ya estoy en casa, entonces me es da chance de comer y todo. Es una bendición estar temprano. Sí, sí. la verdad que sí. Sí. Vaya, eh, cuestiones de, de idioma o algo que quisiera que le ayude, Mr. César. Es que si quizás profundizar en lo que acabamos de estar viendo por ahorita, Perfecto. creería yo, porque fíjese que yo está, bueno, nosotros lo resolvimos todo, pero con la señorita que, nos, que estaba colaborando al final, eh, bueno, me confundí un poco porque no, 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 no lo hice similar a ella. Bueno, sí similar, pero me faltaron algunas cositas. Por ejemplo, hay una en la que está, eh, no sé, puede, puede poner la pantalla. Tí? Sí, ahorita no. estaba buscándola por ahí. Eh, Bye. El segundo ejercicio, y, me, me dice usted, este. Eh, eh, este. Este sí lo hicimos, eh, ese sí creo que sí. Ok, el primero, bien. Entonces, okay. El primero, ajá, este, porque okay. este, en este caso, eh, him y her, eh, aquí queda porque queda abierto para ambas respuestas en el número 5 o es porque... Así va, him, her. Ah, ok, ok, sí. Eh, de hecho, ahorita por cuestiones de tiempo yo fui volando, pero sí, mañana le voy a explicar un poquito más. Eh, y de uh -huh. hecho, me iba a disculpar porque por cuestiones de tiempo, vaya. Vale. Vale. La cuestión es que usted está diciendo, ella rehusó decirle a él su nombre. Esa es la traducción literal. Uh -huh. Ok, pero yo también podría decir, mister, solo a esto, ve. Yo solo era que nosotros solo era lo teníamos. Ella, she refused to tell her name. Ella rehusó decir su nombre. Le estoy diciendo en general uh -huh. porque ya sé que estoy hablando a él, ¿verdad? A él se rehusó decir el nombre. Entonces las dos están correctas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Solamente que cuando usted dice, she refused to tell him her name, eh, ahí de hecho tengo que poner una coma y, y ya que usted me lo recordó, mañana mismo a, vamos a comenzar con eso para que no nos confundamos porque va el him and her. Ok. Sí. Sí. Sí, estaría bien. Eh, de ahí quiero ver otra que... que el que negativo. Sí, que es, eh, ¿Mande? El negativo, el infinitivo. perdón. Sí, el no, negativo. el negativo de esto, como la, la número 6. Don't, sí, nosotros le pusimos don't, pero luego... Ah. Sí, como que comprendí cuando usted dijo de que no podíamos usar entre medio de una, no me acuerdo, oración sí, o una, una. Ajá, en medio de una oración no podemos poner el don't si llevando verbo uno después del otro. Ajá. Solo cuando yo le digo uh, do it, don't do it, o, o cosas así, ahí sí, porque es una consigna que comienzo con eso. Entonces, pero. Ah, porque de ahí, sí, eso solo es, quiero ver cuál otra, to tell her name. 
Que a ver si tengo alguna diferencia. Porque ah, aquí, sí le, de hecho, aquí, yo, aquí yo me equivoqué. De hecho, alguien creo que me preguntó. Un tú, fue, ajá, es que un tú, en una no había un tú. Sí, en esa, aquí, cabal. Aquí fue error mío. Yo creo que alguien me preguntó, yo le dije que sí, pero yo creo que me estaba, no sé, no le entendí. Así ah, que sí, sí, vamos, le preguntaron vamos, eso. Ajá, vamos a aclarar sí, eso. Y le dijo, sí. Uh -huh. Ok, le dijo ella, aceptó. Okay. Ajá. Entonces, ahí sí, no, no le capté muy bien y le dijo, ¿qué? Porque, porque sí. pero mañana vamos a revisar esto. Lo importante es que creo que, en general, ya entendimos que el, el, después de un verbo, tiene que ir el tú y luego el verbo en su forma básica. Eso es el infinitivo. Ajá, no cambiarlo, porque había uno, por ejemplo, que nosotros lo estábamos cambiando involuntariamente. ¿Cuál era? No me recuerdo. Going, el, el, en la parte del going, claro, nosotros ah, lo okay. estábamos haciendo mal, pero... Uh -huh. En el número 5 estamos usando el go, porque el go, go también es un, como un verbo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, Ajá. pues íbamos a usar mal, pero ya ahí yo dije, bueno, pero going de por sí ya está modificado el verbo. Y de ahí Ajá, captamos exacto. de que no, que incluso no Ajá. iba a eso, sino que sí. solo era el... Mañana, el... Eh, después de repasar esto y cubrir lo del manual que nos pide que hagamos como una... La práctica es que usted va a escribir una misión, ¿verdad? La misión de nuestra empresa es cuando usted dice, ¿verdad? No sé, usar, hacer, convertirse, cuestiones así. Ah. Son infinitivos, ¿ok? Entonces, eso, eso va a ser como el, el culmen de, de, de lo de que usted me, me demuestre o se demuestre a sí mismo, ok, yo manejo el infinitivo para este contexto, ¿verdad? Después de eso, van a haber verbos que van, llevan el ING, el ING, así como usted me está diciendo. Pero uh -huh. usted tiene que decidir, ¿verdad?, y tiene que saber cuáles son esos verbos que, que el 100% se pone el ING. Ya no es el infinitivo. Si no me va a decir, eh, she likes to go. También me puede decir, she likes going. O sea, el go, que es el segundo verbo, ya puede ir en ING. Pero es en casos específicos. Pero no se los uh -huh. mencioné porque no, no, no nos queremos confundir. Primero vamos a captar esto. Ok. Y luego okay. hay verbos específicos que solo reciben el to, que es el infinitivo, o solamente usted pone she likes going, she hates doing. Pero eso es, es cuestión de gramática, ¿verdad? Es el mismo significado. Ok. En este tipo de, 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 de verbos infinitivos, eh, o sea, siempre, como por regla general, tengo que entender de que van a ir dos verbos. Exacto. Ese es el infinitivo. Ah, okay. Eso siempre va a ser, o sea, en, entre dos verbos, el tú, ¿verdad? Y el, el, tú. el tú antes del, el, o sea, estructuralmente el, el tú antes del, del verbo, ese verbo no va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Nunca le va a poner una S o una ING. Usted va a tener dos opciones, ¿verdad? Y yo le podría decir aquí, mire, por ejemplo, eh, si aquí no está correcto lo que le voy a mostrar, pero tiene dos opciones. Imagínese si se pudiera. He agreed helping him, ok usted lo puede escribir ayudando. así ok, sí o, 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 la traducción sería, ella se puso de acuerdo a ayudarle, así se podría traducir, tiene usted una opción de hacerlo así, pero gramaticalmente correcto, te va a decir así exacto ok, así sí, o sea, un, un, un norteamericano podría decirlo así como lo escribía usted al principio y estaría correcto también sí, o sea, ellos se dan a entender, verdad, pero en realidad, pero lo correcto no es eso. sino que en verbos específicos es donde ellos ponen el ING, porque así, lo, así es el idioma, pues. Pero en casos okay. así como esto, siempre es así. Un, un gringo siempre le va a decir, un norteamericano le va a decir, she agreed to help him, porque así es. O sea, no hay vuelta de ojo aquí. Ah, ok. okay. okay. Por, no importa si habrá informal o, o formal, no, 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 aquí es lo mismo. Ok. Pero hay verbos uh -huh. que. Que como si usted pone dos verbos a la par, el segundo tiene que subir un cambio. El cambio es un ING, pero eso es para mañana que lo vamos a ver. Pero son verbos que yo le voy a decir este, este y este. Específicos. Ajá. Específicos. Usted el segundo verbo le va a poner ING. Y, y ese es el 90% de las veces. Ya no va a ser un infinitivo del to, uh -huh. sino que ya va a decir usted, she likes going to the park. Ella le gusta ir al parque. Ok. okay. Pero en este caso, usted ya lo aprendió, ya me, ya me fijé, el hecho de poner el, un verbo Luego enlazarlo con el to. Sí. Y luego un verbo normal sin agregarle nada y ya eso ya le da sentido a, a la oración. Sí, es que lo que está haciendo es ir poniendo, digamos, en estos casos como no lo sé. que veíamos el, uh -huh. en el módulo pasado. Entonces, ese, ese tipo de cositas. Por ejemplo, agregar el Claves. ING, el pasado el ED. Eh, Claves. Sí. Ajá. Un como, pequeño manual para usted, ¿verdad? Como, ajá, como... 
sí. que muy, muy aparte de lo, del vocabulario, sino Exacto. que es como más, ¿qué? ¿Gramática sería? ¿verdad? Sí, es gramática, es que, es que la, mire, eh, eh, la gramática es necesaria, pero también el vocabulario y cuestiones de pronunciación, y ya todo eso junto hace que usted vaya aprendiendo sí, poco a poco. Sí, porque yo ahorita, si por ejemplo, pido, en vocabulario... Va. Uh -huh. ando diría que un 20% de vocabulario uh -huh. pero y si sí, estas otras cosas si sí se me quedan pero de nada me sirve si no como no tengo vocabulario pues no lo puedo tampoco Ajá, exactamente escuchar. entonces eh, entonces yo por eso si se fija trato de hablarles un poquito más en inglés de repente un poco más pausado y les repito y les vuelvo a decir sí. este, para que usted adquiera vocabulario pero es que sí se siente de hecho el cambio porque yo en la primera primeras clases que tuve cuando estaba en el primer módulo sentía como paniqueado, pues Ajá. no entendía nada. Hoy al menos entiendo varias cosas sí. y ya no me preocupa que hablo solo inglés. Entonces, Ajá, si, siento exacto. que si entiendo, bueno, algo voy a agarrar. Pero, y sino, y pues, de forma inconsciente uno ya va solo produciendo inglés y dice cositas así, yes, no, que okay, yes, you're next, cosas así ya uno lo va diciendo. Y ya, ya uno no se da cuenta que está produciendo. Pero, pero... Mm. Lo que usted hace, cuestiones claves, es lo que uno debe de hacer, porque si apunta demasiado, no tenemos tiempo y al final no nos vamos a acordar, pero cosita que, ah, no, esto sí, y ya vuelve a retomar. Eso es muy, sí. muy bueno. Ok. Bueno, mm -hmm. lo dejo por cuestiones de tiempo. Sí. And uh, hope to see you tomorrow, sir. Yes, sir, sir. Yes. Ok. Good night. Good night, sir. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, sir.